Hey guys, um, I'm Sham from Sky Studios. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I did this uh, easy animation loop. It's actually really, really simple. So we, I think most of us have learned this trick when we were in preschool. So it's just uh, it's just a triangle. So we're going to create a cylinder and add three vertices and rotate it in the x-axis and scale it 10 points s x s s y 10 and then i'm going to add my camera and move it in the y-axis to minus 10 meters and then delete the front faces the, the front face only and i felt like scaling it a bit more but then I realized it's not worth it so I scaled it back to 15 I'm gonna change the length focal length to about 28 millimeters and I'm gonna do my shading now I'm going to add go to shading add a new material increase the metallic and decrease the roughness to 0, 0.20 to 0 and I'm going to bevel with control B and add an emission shader assign it and switch on bloom and screen space reflections and ambient occlusions on and you get these cool reflections and I'm going to duplicate the same thing uh, duplicate the triangle and scale it in the Z axis X Z and minus one I'm going to change the emission color to a blue color and might scale it to 10 so although we scale it up we're gonna scale it put it back the same order because I felt like that should be the right size and now I'm going to add a keyframe and in the 250 frame add another keyframe we would rotate it to minus three first first triangle uh, three, three, minus 360 and the other one just plus 360 and add keyframes in and go to right go to the animation panel and right click and duplication mode to linear and go to preferences search for tissue mesh add-on and Add it, and you it it'll be edit in the section, and add an icon appear, and go tab in, uh, you guys tissue and convert to dual mesh, and you will get all those, and add two materials and assign the bottom one to an emission shader, and there you go. I'm going to make the world settings and making it black. Now I'm going to scale it up. So with the reflections, you guys, you guys can see it makes a nice effect. So I'm going to add some keyframes with I, scale it up and move 50 frames further and add another keyframe with I and 100th key, keyframe and another key scale and keep adding keyframes and in the last keyframe, I'm gonna scale it back to zero. So, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this. So, I'm going to the animation tab and select everything with A and right click and select inter uh, inter uh, interpretation mode and make it uh, linear. So, that's it for this tutorial, guys. Hope you guys liked it. 
so subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if you guys like this and if you guys want me to do more tutorials like this so please let me know in the comment section below so and also let me know if you guys want me to do more tutorials like this or more character videos so thank you guys see you